It's me, Suze Pratt. We're just doing a little experiment here to see if this will upload to my YouTube channel. Today is day two of this ongoing war with the Geek Squad uh, threatening to remove money from my bank account because they have me under a contract. What the hell are they talking about? They couldn't fix the computer either. They were paid. Apple couldn't fix the computer. We've got craziness everywhere. Of course, we're hearing about Apple and Facebook and all this social media getting sued for everything they've stolen from us and our intellectual property, so on and so forth. So in the meantime, I have two very expensive computers that no longer are functional. I've got the Geek Squad jerking my chain, telling me they're going to take money away. They're foreigners calling from Washington, D.C. But remember, the D.C. of Washington, the District of Columbia, is no more in the United States than you're a free person. You get what I mean? So anyhow, I was just wondering what my options are on live streaming because <clears throat> many people are happy to know that I'm at what you call the bottom of my rope. So, if everything's a racket and a scam and it's a retarded robot that actually is controlling an algorithm and all the people profess that they want it to stop, but since I spoke about it, I'm exiled. That just doesn't make sense, does it? Pretty much shut the whole thing down. So, this hopefully will just immediately go easily to YouTube. Like many of the short videos now that I put on Sue's Pratt, the Holistic Stylist. And we'll see what I can do when I work with the record button, because surely nobody finds me interesting enough to subscribe to my channel, even though it's free. Now, if you believe that, you've got a hole in your head. I mean, really? This is how much people control the numbers? Because here again, I haven't done anything offensive. Except for the liars, it pretty much upsets them. So, want me to quit talking, huh? The minute I quit talking, everybody cries because they can't get any more information. They get upset because I don't talk during the two-way video communications with third-party evaluations. Oh, yeah. They can't even read my mind because my thoughts are my own. So this is a battle for your mind. So any time that the Jokers want to quit the game, there's been a lot of converts, you know. And don't be upset at the people that chose to change teams midway through this bet and this whole game that y'all find so amusing. I think it's pathetic. I think it's shameful that somebody that just wanted to come online and do a decent job and bring evidence would be buried so deep they could never get up. And that all goes back to Conscious Consumer Network, Mel and Richard Vermeys, Melanie's maiden is Spencer. <clears throat> Where did all their information go? All of the years of documentation that these people were on the run and the law was wanting them. But hey, come to find out you really can remove things off the internet and oh, you can time travel too. Now there's a stamp where you decide the year and the date and the time that you made your video. So if key evidence or something happened historically in a certain year, well now any mentally ill computer genius can simply just poof, make their video before the real video came out. 
it's great what you can do with fake faces and all these things that on TV they're crying about. But I disclosed three years ago. And then all the, you know, big story with Good and Wilcox and all these people. But it really goes back to a hub. And these free YouTube channels that bullies and extortionists say they run and you gotta pay them to talk. You're not safe online. You're not safe out in the real world. You got two options. If you don't get with the program and figure yourself out, when this shattering of our reality happens, I mean, they're worried about people's heads blowing off their shoulders or their hearts stopping. That's why I wanted to bring some kind of relief, some kind of understanding, some kind of help to a community. Now here again, people in the know realize what this is. And I'm not here to dance and play games with you morons that think this is fake. It's no such thing. This is a very powerful, important stone. Priceless, enough to murder somebody over. I mean, what, what kind of shit do you people want? I mean, what if this could actually serve some kind of purpose to humanity? And oh, right, the scarab that manifested. And the big question, did I manifest it with my boogie boogie or did it create itself up out of this very thing and no I didn't buy this with this scarab on it look at the detail I mean do you think a computer can do that I mean does anybody else want to claim that they've had a manifestation appear not only one but two 2007 and yeah, this is tie-dyeing my fingernails. My nails aren't dirty. I've been tie-dyeing. Blow me sideways. But you see, everlasting life and regeneration. And possibly some kind of details about the lineage. If and when the wings decide to open. The spots have changed. Things get clearer. It's pretty amazing but nobody wants to talk to the girl with the real phenomena because she'll shut down all the shills that have been conning money and sucking energy out of people. So the game plays on. This video is eight minutes and five seconds, and so uh, I'm going to say hang in there, guys. And even though I might say I'm at the end of my rope, it doesn't mean I'm done yet. It just means... That I'm not addicted to the stupid computer in the meantime, or in the first place, or any of the time. I was doing a service to my creator. And I don't care if you don't get that or not. You better get your own. All right. I'll talk soon.